Blackboard can be a little confusing for new users. So I want to show you a couple of things specifically related to submitting assignments in Blackboard. Once you get logged into Blackboard, uh, of course, you'll navigate your way over to the courses tab on the left side. Um, and you can find your courses here. Um, I have mine filtered by the semester that we're in. Um, it's fall 2024 right now. And I'm going to go ahead and enter my course. And now that I'm in the course, I'm going to uh, navigate the left side menu here. The first thing I'm going to do is check my grades because I already submitted an assignment and I want to look at that feedback before I do the next one. So I'm going to go to the My Grades tab on the left side menu, and I'm going to see that, okay, assignment one here has been submitted, um, and I've got a four out of five on it, um, and I can see by this little logo here, I've got some feedback. So um, I'm going to go ahead and click the assignment title, and it'll take me to my professor's feedback. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, some written feedback here. Uh, from your professor, that's me, uh, telling you roughly overall what um, is good and maybe could use some work on this assignment. But one thing that's also really important is that I've got a markup in the document. And you can see there are some things that are highlighted. Um, and you can see that there are some comments, right? So here's a comment, uh, you know, I should capitalize the word, pre you know, the word president. Uh, here's another comment. Um, and these are good things to take note of because I, I give a lot of very specific detailed advice on writing, especially early on. And I do like to use the comment feature because it allows me to highlight uh, very specific things and very specific uh, details to give you feedback about. By clicking here, I can also look at the rubric. And you can see that the professor used the rubric to grade me. So I can see that I did really well. I got full marks on responsiveness and course themes. Um, but I got uh, a little bit less than perfect on evidence uh, and writing. So I can see that I've got some minor errors I'm going to need to correct, especially in these two categories. All right. So once I'm done looking at this, I can just hit OK. And it'll take me back to the gradebook. So now I'm ready to do the next assignment. Uh, I've already written my assignment. Uh, I was responsive to the feedback. I, I worked on those weak points. And now I'm ready to submit assignment two. And I'm going to scroll down to assignment two. And here I can see the prompt. And if I click the title, I can go right into the full assignment so I can read the whole prompt. I'm going to read this very carefully and make sure that I construct my assignment um, in such a way that it, it meets all of these, uh, these criteria. I'm responsive to all the questions. And I'm keeping in mind the feedback that the professor gave me before. Uh, I want to see how it's going to be graded. So I can uh, click this button to view the rubric ahead of time uh, and know what I'm aiming for. Um, once I've written my assignment, um, I've got a few options here at the bottom. I can click create submission where I can type in the box, um, but this really isn't going to help my work uh, uh, look its best. So I'm actually going to really want to upload a document. So uh, I'm going to go to this upload files uh, button. And I really like this cloud services feature because it allows me to connect right to my OneDrive or my Google Drive. And I'm gonna, I keep my assignments in my OneDrive um, and I'm gonna go to the folder that I've set aside for this class, um, which is gonna be political science. Um, and I'm gonna go into the one for the, the class that I wanna submit. So I've got a, a folder just for uh, this class. And I'm gonna go ahead and submit um, my example uh, chapter draft. Once I've selected the assignment I wanna submit, um, I can see that I've got the, the blue checkbox here, and I'm going to hit this select one button. Uh, and I will say import. And you'll be able to see, okay, there it is. Um, it's showing up here. Uh, I am going to agree to submit my paper to uh, safe assign to check the plagiarism. And maybe I want to add a little note to the professor. Um, I worked really hard on this. Uh, and then I will go ahead and hit the submit button at the bottom. And you'll see a few things have happened. Um, I can see that it's converting, right? So there it is. My document shows up here. Um, I can see that uh, there's a notification at the top. Um, there's a confirmation number um, that I can save. Um, I also get a confirmation email. So I actually get a receipt of this assignment to my email. Um, which is really great. I would not navigate away from this page until I'm absolutely sure that the assignment has been submitted. Um, and uh, because I've got the confirmation, I can actually view 
uh, the submission receipts in my grades. And there it is. Um, I can see that the uh, item is here, that little yellow circle with the exclamation point in it um, is a little symbol that means that this needs to be graded. Um, and I can also look at my submission receipts. There it is um, under the submitted tab here. I can also look at the submission receipts at the bottom. And there they are. I can see that I have two submission receipts uh, demonstrating that I submitted an assignment. So that's it. It's it's fairly straightforward. Um, I would really recommend you use a Chrome or Firefox browser. Uh, the mobile app that you would find on your phone or your tablet uh, just doesn't have the same functionality. It doesn't work nearly as well. So really, you want to use a, a web browser um, to view and interact with Blackboard. I hope this helps. Thank you.